Hey guys, hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jasmine. And I'm Cisco. And in today's video, we are going to be making palomas. Yeah. Um, they are an alcoholic drink with squirt. You want to show them? Oh, so we got squirt. We got squirt. With chamoy. And tajin. We're going to put it around tajin. the rim of the cup. Yeah, and finishing. for our alcohol, <laughs> our last <laughs> bottle, same thing, but your own. You could use a... Uh, Tequila, any type of tequila, mezcal, honestly. Mezcal. Or mezcal, mezcal, yeah. I would prefer mezcal, but I didn't find any. Mm. But yeah, I know that's really strong mezcal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm good. We're gonna make but. these today. We got the idea from her name is I Love Sarai on Instagram, and she has a YouTube as well. So we got it from her. We were watching mm -hmm. her YouTube video, and her and her boo were doing these, and they looked really good. Yeah. The only thing we don't have is a cantarito, so that's why we have the red cups. Yeah. So. Use a cantarito, but we're using red cups yes. today. <laughs> got we got the limes, we got the oranges, yes. and we got the grapefruit. Which are these, these big guys, and then yeah. tajin. So let's just start cutting everything. Do you want to rim the stuff already? Okay. So we have to this. wait. Oh, so should we? What am I gonna do? Rim it. Like, oh, let me cut oh, okay. a piece of lemon for you, so you can use the juice. So this is DIY on how to make the palomas, and it's a Mexican drink. Which is bomb. I've never had them honestly, but they look delicious. Dang, I don't know where I went. Where did we did? Was it with you that I got a paloma that one time? When? It had to be like I don't know, like a couple weeks ago. Who did I go with? I don't even know who I went mm -hmm. with. I don't even know. But I went to a restaurant and I got a paloma and it was hella bomb. So then when I seen her video, I was yeah. like, ooh, and then she added the oranges and the grapefruit. And I was like, ooh, that might taste better. So that's what we're doing. Oh, there we go. That's what we're saying. Sorry for my faces on cutting these. These are actually kind of um, hard. I would like this. Ooh. This would be a lot better if I had an actual plate or <laughs> bowl. But I'm not mad. Oh yeah, it is hella watery. Yeah. Is chamoy hella watery? I felt like it was. I think I feel like thicker. it's supposed to be like thick, thicker. almost like a gel, yeah, like a jelly. Thicker. You know? Yeah. I don't know. We're tripping. We got it at Diaga, so. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, never mind. I like that. Have to add more chocolate, bro, because if oh shit. I'm just gonna like let it drip. You know, so going so it could go into the cup. Oh yeah. Like so. We're gonna be bartenders for today. I know, bartenders. Are you guys' quarantine going? I hope you guys, the like essential people, hope you guys are still open. I know a lot of like dealerships have been shutting down. And that sucks, mm -hmm. you know. But we got this. It's just what it is. And usually, what I'm gonna do is just add more, uh, more tahin in there, just so it could be there's a lot of flavor in there. <coughs> so story time, guys. When we were younger, of course, high school. Everything happens in high school, not even uh, when we're older. Yeah, so this kind of brings me back to the days where we used to party a lot, go out a lot. You know what's hella funny? That I feel like we partied as a lot as friends and not even as like boyfriend and uh, girlfriend. Yeah, we used to be with friends. But I think it's because when we were friends, we were single, so. We are all single. Yeah, because yeah, we. I don't know if some of you guys don't know, but we started off as best friends and we would always hang out. We never saw each other like that, I guess. No, yeah, dead ass serious. We had like Yeah, wow, well, we didn't see each other like a uh, boyfriend, girlfriend. Like, I would have never intended to go out with her. Same. She never intended to, meet, to go out with me, you know? I feel like that's <laughs> the best relationship to start off like that. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened, guys. Should we put some flour in the chamoy or something and thicken it up? Oh, look at this. this is how you do it, bro. 
So we put it like that, and it goes like that. All right, for sure. So now you got it going down. Real you quick though, your... I'm gonna start squeezing these things, the oranges and stuff, into the, like, we have a um, jar with ice, a jar. <laughs> well, yeah, kind of like a jar. Uh, no, that's not a jar, that's a... So we're gonna put the orange. So we're gonna put the orange um, and the grapefruit juice into this pitcher, and then we're gonna mix everything up. Put it home. This is what they look like, guys. Damn, we're gonna have plenty for the freaking week, yo. I know. <laughs> One for every night we come home. Damn, for real, huh? So let's put a story where when we first met. Let's just tell that night, actually. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So apparently she was blacked mm -hmm. out. She, do you, well, you don't even remember, I, huh? Not the night. Well, let me explain it from the beginning of the okay. day. She's gonna tell her story and then I'll. Because he showed up. He was invited. I was already yeah. there. Okay, so what had happened is me, and my friend Jessica, went with our friend Angel and a couple of other peeps that we were cool with in our circle at the time. We went to the beach. And then we had went to Smart and Final and we bought a shitload of food and a shitload of alcohol. We had like at least three 24 packs of beer. Damn. And then we had like bottles and stuff. So it was a mess. So then we got to the beach, we started drinking. <clears throat> and then, of course, I was single, so I was just like, to, like invite more people or whatever. So she ended up inviting him and his friend Daniel, and then they showed up. Yeah. And tell me why he comes up with water, like empty water bottles, but they were filled with alcohol. And tell me why it looked like my mom's, like, soap. Your mom's soap? Yeah, because you know how Mexican moms put soap in the water bottles and they take them to the laundromat so they don't have to be carrying the whole thing? Yeah. Yeah, so I was like, this fool's really bringing something that looks like soap, like that's all he brought. But I was already hella buzzing, so don't pay attention to me, kind of thing. But the only thing I remember after them getting there was sitting down, we were playing, what the fuck were we playing? We were playing arm wrestle. Then arm we started wrestle, drinking, okay. We started drinking more, and I just remember like laughing and like everybody was having fun. Damn, right. And then I remember we were leaving and I remember I got in your car but I wasn't really thinking and I blacked out from there and I remember coming to I think it was at Lucas's house and we were like in the yeah. gym or something and then that's all I remember. Damn. So she was already wasted, obviously. But yeah, we were already we were like I was saying, we were already drinking when like Okay, so my story is we got head up from our friend Jessica. It was me, and my boy Daniel. And our friend Jessica hit us up. She's like, "Hey, beach bonfire." I like, slide through. I'm gonna like me and my boy. We're like, "Yeah, I'm like we're down." So we got ourselves a bottle. And since there's like no bottles allowed, you know, like we didn't want to get caught up. <laughs> we were underage. Oh yeah, we were. I was 16 at the time. I do not condone uh, drinking underage. So, anyways, back to my story. <laughs> We're bringing in the, uh, the water bottles. Uh, we get there, everybody's already drinking. Me and my boys start drinking. We're over here like chatting up with everybody, having fun, having a good time. Then like nighttime comes and we're like, all right, let's dip. Let's go to uh, another friend's house, which is Dulce. We went to her house, chilled there, had a little bonfire going on. Everybody was chilling, drinking, you know, having a good time. And then, at the time where we had to leave, because it was getting super late, I think it was like 42 in the morning. Like three in the morning or something. Almost 3 in the morning, yeah. So we're like, alright, let's do it. And my friend Jessica's like, oh, hey, can you give my friend a ride? Because I was driving. And I'm like, well, where does your friend live? And she like, basically tells me that she lives right in the same apartment complex. And her friend was Jasmine. Me. Yeah, so. So I'm like, oh yeah, for sure, you know, I could, I could take her, like, we live right next to each other then. So we end up going, I drop her off, I'm like, where's your apartment? And she's like, oh, it's right here, just park right here, and you could just drop me off. I'm like, oh, well, this is where I park. <laughs> and like, that's how everything started, with me and her yeah, becoming friends. And then the thing is, like, I woke up the next morning not knowing where I was, or where my shit was, because we all had, you know, we all had stuff. 
And I let, I don't know, I left my wallet in your car and then... Yeah, you left, everybody like left their freaking yeah, either there sandals, like sandals, there's a, a blanket. And yeah, everybody left like hell of stuff in my car, like, because everybody was drunk. Yeah, so like, I was like, oh my god, where's my towel and everything. So then I, friend, I texted my friend Jessica and I was like, hey, where's all my shit? And she's like, oh, you probably left it in Cisco's car. And I'm like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, like, what the heck? So then she's like, oh, here, I'll, I'll give you his number. You could text him. Ew. Oh, damn, that's one. Text him. Ew. Oh, damn, that's one. Went straight to your face, huh? I'm yeah. sorry, babe. <laughs> Um, what's my call it? So I text them and then like his, his car is right in front of my window, which is crazy because I've never noticed his car before that. Like, I don't remember seeing your car there. You well, but basically, uh, we never like knew that we lived right in front of each other. Mm -hmm. That's how we met and we just been and That was our drunk story. That was our drunk story. How we met. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. And then... And after that, well, that's, like, we hanged out all the time. Yeah, pretty much. But yeah, we're gonna continue with all this. We're gonna finish squirting all these lemons, and then we'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Okay, quick thing. Uh, what's your guys' crazy-ass story? You guys remember... Having a drunk story, I have a lot, dude. Back then, me and my friends, we would always go out to the club. Yeah, straight party. We'd go to the bar, bars a lot. It was crazy. Every weekend. <laughs> That's why I feel like now that I'm like older, like I don't even want to go out to the bars or to the clubs because I did that when I was like younger. So. So if you guys don't know, he's three years older than me. So I still haven't went out and partied like how everybody has. That's because like your it's... parents were straight. <laughs> I know. I did live in uh, Vegas for a year, so I feel like that year, I still did some crazy shit out there, but not as much as I would have here. Because my yeah. friends here, the Bay in general is hella crazy and hypey, and over there they're not. So um, hmm. if you're not 21, you can't be in the casinos, you can't walk around or anything. So it's hella strict over there if you're underage versus here. We can do whatever the fuck we want. And much that way with everything. Yeah, pretty much. But once this quarantine shit's over, we're hella gonna be at the club. I don't give a fuck. We're hella gonna be there. Not gonna take nothing for regret. <laughs> yeah. Well, should we put this first? Yeah. Should we put this first, guys, or the square first? No, yeah, let's do the alcohol let's so then we can see how much we can fill everything up. Yeah, we finished this thing halfway last time. Alright, let's give that a try right now and then we'll add more of it. <laughs> okay, so you can have a small one. Alright, here we go with ice. Ooh, look at that. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> It needs like salt. You could use some salt. Right? Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright, I think we got it, guys. So now, time to uh, pull up. Pull up. Drink. Right. 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 Our ingredients. Say our ingredients. Okay, so, so the ingredients that we used were oranges. We got two. And then. Grapefruits, which are a little bigger than the oranges. I yeah, got two of those. Fruit. And then the limes are we like these. Lime, limes. Um, I got like nine, because they were like three for a dollar. But mm -hmm. we only use three. Yeah, we use like three. Three, okay. We use three, and of course, your tahin. Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> and then your chamoy. Doesn't matter. It probably does matter. This one's kind of watery. Not my fave. Yeah, not my favorite. <laughs> No, there's other one better than that and then any type of tequila you know we use the patron and of course of course squirt. squirt squirt is key and of course your salt no. so cheers babe mm. it was good 
true. Mm -hmm. It's good. That's really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, guys. So that was our quick little video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. This, that's how you make palomas. And I highly recommend it if you guys are in quarantine. Mm. You guys yeah, it. and if you guys want, it's like really refreshing. Mm -hmm. It's really, really bomb. It's really really bomb. bomb. Highly recommend it. Spending my coffee tomorrow. <laughs> Just <laughs> right. kidding. All right, guys. We'll see you on our next video. Bye, guys. Bye.